Top 5 Bandmates Who Hated Each Other Not everyone can get along with their bandmates, even if their entire job entails singing songs about love and togetherness. For many of the world's biggest bands, more money means more problems and lifelong friends can quickly turn to enmity. In today's video we'll be looking at bandmates who despite being in the same band they have famously never gotten along. Mike Love and Brian Wilson The Beach Boys was a legendary rock group known for two things, their inimitable harmonies and the drama that circled the group at every turn. If Wilson was the soul of the group then Love was its mesolimbic pathway, keeping the group motivated and never letting them slow down. Cousins Mike Love and Brian Wilson have feuded for decades. Wilson has publicly mocked Love singing and described him as egotistical. After Wilson's first memoir, Love sued the songwriter for defamation, and that wouldn't be the end of the Love's lawsuits against Wilson. However, Love also harbors anger towards Dennis Wilson, the band's drummer. Not only did Dennis impregnate Love's 17-year-old daughter, but he also slept with Love's then-wife Suzanne. Most of all, Love blames Brian Wilson for not standing up for him. Liam and Noel Gallagher The falling out of Liam and Noel Gallagher remains one of pop music's highest-profile feuds. For every great duo in a band, there's always going to be that bit of tension getting in the way of things. Whereas most of this comes down to resentment, the Gallagher brothers may be the one duo who genuinely hated each from day one. Though the Davies brothers of the Kinks first had that sibling rivalry dynamic in the 60s. For most of their tenure, you'd be hard-pressed to find a nice thing one of them had to say about the other, from Liam talking about Noel being a dictator to Noel even calling his brother expendable in the band. As much as Noel might get the credit for writing most of the tunes, a song like Rock and Roll Star or Supersonic simply wouldn't work if not for Liam's whiny drawl selling it the rest of the way. Despite all of the soured relationships that have come and gone in rock and roll, it tends to feel a little more testy when it actually becomes a part of your bloodline. John Lennon and Paul McCartney Spreading the message that, all you need is love, the Beatles are arguably the most famous and popular band in music history. Given their vast fame, most fans are always well aware of the long-standing feud between co-band leaders John Lennon and Paul McCartney. Even though people blame Yoko Ono for the band's demise, she's hardly the culprit behind the dissolution, but the real problem between Lennon and McCartney was a matter of pride and ego, with the two strongly disagreeing. The Beatles were exploring new musical directions. Years later, Yoko Ono added to the tension by rewriting history to suggest that John Lennon was solely responsible for the Beatles' success, which deeply upset Paul McCartney. However, this doesn't mean she was entirely to blame for all of their issues. Ray and Dave Davies The Kinks were an English rock band formed in 1964 by brothers Ray and Dave Davies. They are regarded as one of the most important and influential rock bands of the 1960s. Ray and Dave Davies simply could never get along with one another, and the success of the band only intensified the issue. Both brothers didn't help things by indulging in serious drug habits, made even worse by Ray's pre-existing mental issues related to bipolar disorder. After three decades of touring, Dave couldn't take it anymore, officially breaking up the band and repeatedly promising they would never reunite. Mick Jagger vs. Keith Richards the Rolling Stones' world's greatest rock and roll band, sometime in the early 1970s, much like the Beatles. The Rolling Stones also served as one of the few bands from that decade to survive, which they have all the way to the present day. The Rolling Stones have succeeded largely because of Mick Jagger's swagger-defining posturing as a frontman coupled with Keith Richards being a living embodiment of the guitar riff. Despite their unbridled success, the two have almost openly hated each other for decades, with Richards creating unflattering nicknames and openly mocking Jagger to his friends and members of the press. The two have always been able to put aside their open resentment towards one another for the good of their careers.